Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. We're just going to see what comes up. Well, what do we have for Taurus for April 2020? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for April 2020? What do we have for Taurus? Oh, Eight of Wands. So this is, uh, you're ready. You're ready. Things happening fast. Messages coming. Eight of Wands, uh, fast forward movement, positive. This is uh, good news. This is triumphant news arriving very quickly, very fast. Messages going back and forth. This is also the rods of love. Okay. So being hit. Um, wow. Going back and forth. Coming right at you. Something is coming at you and it's coming at you fast. Wow. Whatever it is, it's abundant. It is abundant. Something is coming and it is good. Ooh, the devil reverse. Now this is uh, freedom. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation. world reversed the, or the world reversed is lack of success I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn you don't have to be but this is lack of success stuck in the present frustrated refusing to explore new avenues stuck something coming back uh, unfinished business unfinished business with somebody I don't know if it's a I don't know who it is it could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. This is something coming back around. Lack of closure. This is accept and cut your losses where somebody's having a hard time. They're having a hard time ending a chapter in their lives. Now, I don't know if it's with a Capricorn or something that is unhealthy because the devil is an unhealthy energy. Lack of success. Mm -hmm. Oh, unexpected choice in love. So you might have some unfinished business with somebody from your past. Somebody that you've been with before. Okay? That's what it looks like to me. Okay? You have some unfinished business here. Because um, this is unfinished business, lack of closure. This is a choice between two, so you may have a choice. You're going to be getting messages, that's for sure. Now, this is a commitment. Somebody may be ready for a commitment. They're ready to take control of a situation. This is somebody that you have dealt with before, put it that way. It's somebody that you have unfinished business with. Now, this could be somebody that you grew up with. It could be somebody that you just crossed paths with. But there's somebody that is coming back around into your life. That's what I see. And this is very unexpected. It looks like it is a soulmate connection with the lovers. It's something that you, somebody that you have you know, a divine connection with, it is, and it's like this angel is bringing you guys together at this time, they're bringing you together, so there is, uh, you know, a connection coming into focus here for you this month, okay, I think it is unexpected, it's somebody that you already know, okay, I feel as though uh, you're going to have to make a choice, this is somebody that you share values with, somebody that you're going to feel very comfortable with, that you may already be comfortable with. You may be falling in love with this person this month. Either way, there is some sort of uh, divine intervention here, okay? There's divine intervention bringing you two together. Looks like it's a very... Uh, 
It's a beautiful companionship. Put it that way. They're bringing you something beautiful. Put it that way. Whatever it is. Or you're in something that is very beautiful. I just want to say beautiful. It's beautiful. And there is some sort of angel involved here. You know, I usually don't point out this angel very much, but it's really sticking out to me. It's like this is, uh, you're meant to be together. You're meant to be whoever this person is. Eee, three of Cups. Now this could be a reunion. There is going to be a reunion. There is going to be a reunion of some sort. Oh, it is definitely somebody from the, from the past. And this is a soulmate connection. So you got a soulmate connection here. This is somebody that you already know. This is somebody that you already know that probably did not reciprocate or they didn't give. They didn't give when they were supposed to. They didn't give. They didn't. But they're going to give now. This is a it's this the six of pentacles reversed is abuse, abuse of power, abuse of generosity. Somebody may have abused their power, but they can't stop thinking about the past. There's a lot of memories about the past. They're they're reevaluating, put it that way. They are definitely reevaluating. Look at this. Six, six, six. Six, six, all right in a row. So, so six 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 is about reevaluation. You know, the devil people can people uh, you know six 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 and the devil number. You know what I'm talking about. So we got something going on here. We got something going on that has to do with reevaluation, reevaluation, unhealthy uh, relationships and unhealthy behaviors. I think we have somebody here that was focused on money. They were focused on materialistic values, you know. They were focused on their ego. They were focused on their money or their job or their business or something like that. More than they were love and they go through some sort of period of reevaluation and it's like now they want to socialize, now they wanna they wanna do something. Obviously they feel a connection. So there is a deep connection here where somebody is reevaluating their feelings, put it that way. And it's like now they're making a choice. Sixes are about choices as well. And there is definitely a choice here. There's a choice between two. Somebody is choosing you. Put it that way, Taurus. Somebody is choosing you. They may have neglected to choose you in the past because of some something unhealthy. Maybe they had addictions or they were married to their job or married to money or something like that. But now they're ready because this is ready. They're ready. Hmm, this is somebody that you know. This person is ready. They're ready for a commitment. They are. There's a reunion here. There is absolutely a reunion here. Oh, God. All is not as it seems. I don't know. This could be anybody. This is a Pisces or a Cancer. So this could be somebody from your childhood even. So there are hidden forces. There are hidden forces bringing two people together. But when you get the moon, it says to proceed with caution. All is not as it seems. You could be dealing with somebody who, you know, you need to look a little bit deeper. What you see on the outside is not what is going on in the inside. So this is a card of illusion.
Be careful. Be careful. Oh, my God. Page of this person is watching. They are watching. They've been watching. They're, they're very curious. They're very interested. Probably, uh, it looks like this guy's got a fist. He's got a fist. He's on the defensive. He may be agitated. Looks like this is a communication. This may be a, you may be receiving a message from somebody that you did not expect. You did not expect this message. This message is from somebody from your past. They have been watching. Maybe they've been stalking or spying or something like that. They've been in hiding, okay? This is hiding behind the scenes. Somebody, and it doesn't have to be a Pisces or a Cancer. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have Gemini here and Gemini here. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be Capricorn. Whoever this person is, this person has been hiding their feelings. They have been hiding their feelings because of fear. And maybe they have some sort of addictions as well. There's definitely, but there's going to be a message. You're going to receive a message from this person of the past. This person has been thinking about it. They've been watching. They've been spying. They've been um, hiding their true feelings, not reciprocating or not, not uh, taking action, not giving anything. But they're ready to leave the past hurts behind. That is the Three of Swords reversed. They're ready to forgive. This is forgiveness. Maybe they're asking for forgiveness. This is forgiveness, healing on the path, on the path to recovery. Ready to leave the past hurts behind. They've done a lot of healing. Maybe they've been rejected. Maybe they've been rejected or they rejected you and they ha and they, you know, realized the hurt that they caused. I don't know. This is hurt. This is pain. And this is a realization, perhaps. Hmm. What the hell is this? Strength reversed. We, we, this is a lack of courage. A coward. Somebody that has a big ego. Likes to be in control. Fearful. Fearful of rejection. I feel like this person has not communicated because they're fearful. This is fearful and this is rejection. So some, we have somebody here that is fearful of rejection. But this person is going to communicate. They are, they are because that, that first card is communication. So some of you are going to be receiving messages from somebody who is fearful. Could be a Leo. Could be. Could be a Leo. Could be a Gemini. Um, could be Gemini. Could be Capricorn. Could be Pisces. Could be Cancer. Could be Aquarius. But there is a reunion here from somebody that is pretty damn fearful. They're fearful. They may be fearful of commitment. Fearful of falling in love. Fearful of getting their heart broken. So there is definitely fear. All is not as it seems. This person is, 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 has deep feelings. They have deep, deep, deep feelings. They have deep feelings for you. My year is starting to ring. This is a reunion of some sort. Hmm. Opening up and sharing. This person is about to open up. They are about to open up and let go of their fear. They are. There, uh, there is going to be a message of love coming your way. This person um, is love struck. This is an admirer. You have a freaking admirer. And this person is going to show their feelings to you. They are going to show your, show you... They're going to tell you how they feel. So you do have an admirer here. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is uh, ready for love. They may see your big heart. 
they have real feelings and i think that you're gonna you're gonna have feelings too i think that you're gonna express your feelings i think you're gonna open your heart to this person i do there's a lot of love to be had here there is so i feel as though taurus you are about to receive some messages from somebody that uh it feels like they they want you to give them a chance they want you to open your heart to them they're going to open their heart to you and i feel like you're going to feel this attraction you're going to feel this it is going to be a strong i think you already have a bond with this person put it that way you are already have some sort of strong bond with this person You may be falling in love with somebody this month, and it's very, very, very unexpected. I don't know. Maybe it's a Scorpio. We have an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's, it's, it definitely could be anybody. It could be anybody. But um, we are about to receive a welcome offer of love or messages of love or something like that from somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. This is somebody that you are that you have a connection with. It's like they're bringing this person to you. Uh, at this time, I think the blonde, ha the blonde, uh, there's a blonde and a dark haired person. So it's a blonde haired woman and a dark haired man. We could have a dark haired woman though, too. You know, we have, it doesn't really matter about the hair, I guess. I mean, everybody has different hair, but I just happened to look at that. This is profound change. We have a new beginning. We do have a new beginning here. So Taurus, be prepared to receive some messages, uh, some loving, tender messages that surprise you. I think this is a huge surprise to you. I think that you are probably going to be in awe Okay, I think that you're going to be shocked. I think you're going to be like, oh my God, I did not expect this. This strength card reversed is somebody that, um, this person may feel inadequate. They may feel inadequate. They may feel like uh, they're weak. Okay, they may feel like they're weak. They may feel like they're not strong enough for you. But I think, and they may, they obviously have some sort of fear, but I think their feelings override their fear and they're going to uh, communicate. They may, you know, I do believe that they are going to communicate. And it might be over social media, it may be over the texting. Um, this is definitely somebody that you already know. You know this person. This person is like this person comes out of the woodwork. You're deepening a bond with somebody this month. And I think that uh, it's pretty darn beautiful. Um, good luck.